Right. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. I, just a month ago on December 8, 1987, I signed a treaty with General Secretary Gorbachev. As you know, the successful completion of the negotiations resulting in that treaty is a direct result of your efforts led by Ambassador Clinton, but involving each of you in this room. And that treaty for the first time in history pledged our respective countries to eliminate an entire class of nuclear weapons, all ground-launched missiles with ranges between 500 and 550, or I should say 5,500 <laughs> kilometers. So to all of you in this room, I, uh, as well as to ambassadors, Kappelman and Glickman, I'd like to take this opportunity to express my personal appreciation and congratulations for your truly selfless and outstanding work in bringing the INF Treaty to a successful conclusion. I recognize that sometimes agonizing effort you put in, repeatedly working your way through the myriad details of draft treaty documents and scrupulously reporting every change in the Soviet tactics to Washington, thinking at times that there never would be an end to the negotiations. But you hung tough. You forcefully and fairly defended our national interests, and especially in the hectic final days, you never lost sight of the principles of security, stability, and effective verification that governed our negotiating posture throughout. I think probably my greatest linguistic effort is learning Dovayai no problem. <laughs> <laughs> the result of sound treaty that protects and enhances our security and that of, of our allies is the final proof of your skill and fortitude. As we move forward in other areas of arms reduction negotiations, your fortitude and your skill will serve as models for how to achieve results that support fully our objectives and our national needs. The U.S. government will continue to rely on your experience and counsel as we move forward to implement the treaty that you were so instrumental in concluding. So once again, I thank you all. And would you care to comment, Ambassador? Thank you, Mr. President. Your kind remarks in this meeting, it's the tools which led to the successful completion of the INF Treaty, however, were forged by many hands, American and allied, over a long period of time. We could not have achieved an INF treaty without the full support and dedication of our colleagues here in Washington. Without your leadership and determination, the INF treaty and its truly groundbreaking provision. God bless you. Hey, it's good to see you. Good to see you. You know something? I, I talked to you on my 85th. Yep. I caught up in when I hit 90. Here I am. I'm still with you. God bless you. You look wonderful. I feel good. You're working too damn hard. I am? Well, Take that up with it. <laughs> oh, one. Hello. Hey, Marguerite. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Hello. You remember nice to see you. It's been a long time. Yeah, it is. Good to see you, President. Good to see you. Uh, Come on in. This is my daughter-in-law. It's wonderful to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. And my granddaughter. Hello. Good to see you. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Nice to meet you, Mr. Fellow. There. And you remember him? Yep. Good to see you. Look, this very much. Good to see you, sir. I'm good to see you. And then, fellas, hello there. Glad to know you. Good to know you. And my stepson. Very nice to see you. It's so wonderful of you to. Well, listen. Glad to do it. I think we better. If we're going to get a family picture, yeah. we better all crowd in. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of distributed. Enough. There, yeah. Let me fit everybody in. Okay. That's great. Well, it's uh, it's just a, a thrill to be here.
here and say, well, it's not good to see you. See you after all these years. After all these years. I was going to ask you. That's fine. Oh, that's good. Give us. Give her all the cards. Yes. And uh, my boy here, he's pretty close to you. I mean, not too far, so. 90 miles away. <laughs> Slip down and see us any time. Yes. The White House is something. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it when I was decorated for Christmas. They I heard it. Was she was telling me. She said it was magnificent. Every year they have a theme, and this year was Christmas music. And then they make dolls. And they have a little display set up. And with the music, this one is illustrating this song. The music is coming out of that. Like, uh, uh, I caught one of kissing grand Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and you have one that. Uh, all I want is my two front teeth and a little doll there looking at oh, that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Incidentally, I want to tell you, I uh, read about your ranch up there all the time. There's a lot of quail up there, a lot of quail. Yes. And uh, when it comes time to cultivate them, I'm very happy to go up there and shoot them. <laughs> he hasn't changed one bit, has he? <laughs> Still hunting. Still hunting. <laughs> I don't know that you could shoot these because they usually hang around the house. <laughs> <laughs> he hunted quail uh, with me in the High Sierras th a month and a half ago. And Not uh, bad. he didn't miss anything that came across his path. He used, so. used, to, used to bring home a deer now and then. Every now and then. Every well, now and then. As long as I can walk and keep breathing, I'm going to keep up. <laughs> you but say, listen, wait a minute. Okay. I think, Mr. Kaplan, you have to have a, a few souvenirs here. Gentlemen, this is That's beautiful. Gentlemen, these are cufflinks. Yeah. With the seal. Thank on. you very much. Appreciate it. Two ladies and men. And thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely. Here and <coughs> right here, Mr. President. Thank you. It's a key ring. I've never been able to manage a video. That's a video with a picture of the White House on it and the, and the great seal. I bet your teacher will end up taking that away from you. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh, Can you say thank you, Mr. President? Thank you. You're more than welcome. <laughs> well. well, this is delightful. This is just beautiful. Thank you very much nice for having Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, you taking time. This is the Oval Office that was made to copy the Oval Room over there in the White House, which in the old days used to be the president or the president's office. Mm -hmm. Because all the executive officers were in there as well as being residents. And that was until Mrs. Theodore Roosevelt one day said to Teddy, if I'm going to raise six kids in this house, you're going to get your people out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we have the West Wing. That's oh, it's that's lovely. Right. And we see you sitting at that desk. <laughs> yes, that's, that, there's a little history about that. That desk was once a sailing ship in the British Navy. It was lost in the ice on a voyage, a rescue voyage toward the North Pole. And some years later, an American whaler found it and brought it out. We refurbished the ship and sent it to England as a gift for their Navy. And then, sometime later, Queen Victoria deposited a 1,300-pound package here at the White House. It was that desk. They had decommissioned the ship, and that was carved out of the planks. Oh, my God. Beautiful. That is Absolutely gorgeous. There's another little note for the young people of history, too. The seal that's on all those things, the great seal. The eagle's head, you notice, is turned toward the olive branch in the one claw, not the arrows in the other. There's what the seal originally was with the eagle looking at the arrows. It was after World War II that Harry Truman decided to have the eagle now looking at the symbol of peace. And that's, that's up. what's up there. Oh, well, it's right. all to see you. Just Thank you so much. Well, see you. And, uh, uh, how's Neil doing? Well, uh, I think pretty good. He's, uh, he's had some problems on uh, uh, open heart surgery and so forth, but he and Bess live down there in uh, uh -huh. natural California now. Well, he loves it down there, though, doesn't yeah. he? I yeah. know. He has a new hobby in the summer when, uh, when the racetrack down there is open. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. He's there every day. <laughs> oh, he's there every day. Yes. I think he's trying to cut back on his allowance. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but we're taking more of your yeah. time, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thanks, for having us. Good to see you. He remembers to answer, please. I should have been. Thank you for the okay. gifts. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, bye, bye, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Something I never forget. I think we're supposed to be sitting okay. down. Okay. Um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 